So this is Limera Farm. This is by Andrade ML Modding, Wesley Franco, and Renegaragos Modding. 326.51 megabyte in the download. And we're in Brazil. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 1,027 slots. Now, if you come on New Farmer, you're going to use 1,193. Now, the difference between the two is going to be the equipment, because all the buildings are here. And the animals. Yeah, we'll get back to that in a minute. Now, there is some required mods. Quite a few, to be fair. You're going to need the ESC Large Shed by DH Modding, the Farm Entrance by Namog Mod, Bunker Silo Set by Razak, Farmhouse by Namog Mod, South Brazilian Warehouses by ML Modding, DH Modding, Forestry Cell Point by Gamer Designs, Brazilian Fences Pack by Zero Ito, Pig Feed Buying Station by Graniero, Virgamini Modding and Lost Gamer, Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation by Hispano, Confining Cows by Graniero, Virgamini Modding and Lost Gamer, Small Farm Pack by Holtz FS, Southern Brazil Shed by Guian FS and BR Metal Shed by Guian FS. Man, that's a, that, that's a fair few extra mods. Anyway, between the slot counts is obviously the equipment. You don't start with any on farm manager start from scratch, but you get this with new farmers. On the small tractors, the John Deere 6120M. On the medium tractors, the 6250R. On the harvesters, the T560. On the cars, the Lizard Pickup 2017 and then the XUV 865M. On the trailers, the Brantner TA 23065 2 Power Tube Plus. On the Orga Wagons, the Bergman GTW 330. On the headers, the John Deere 625X. Then we'll come down to subsoilers. We've got the Agrisem Combi Plow Gold 4 meter. On the planters, the John Deere 1775 NT. On the sprayers, the Lizard Pivot and then the Hardy Mega 1200L. Now, you do start with a Lizard Pivot on Farm Mountain and start from scratch. And we'll get back to that a little bit later. On the fertilizer spreaders, the Breedle K105. On the manure spreaders, the Breary Manure Director 14. On the slurry tanks, the FarmTech SuperSys 800. On the animals, the Primo 15070. M and then the RA142 and then the MKS8. Then we come down to front loaders. We've got the John Deere 603R. So you've got a fair bit of equipment to start with, I must admit. Now, what about the map? Here's your map. There's not that many fields, I must admit. A lot of this is sort of like open land. It's got a few trees in, so you want to sort of plow your way through the map. You can do. You might need to get rid of a few trees, mind you. Anyway. New Farmer, you start with Area 1. Now, that's quite a big area, I must admit. And it comes with quite a price tag, 1.8 million. Yeah, so if you come on Farm Manager and start from scratch, yeah, you've got a bit of saving up to... Well, on start from scratch, definitely. Farm Manager, I mean, you start with 1.5 mil anyway, but you still need a little bit of cash. But on all three game modes, because you start here at the start farm, the sleep trigger's here as well. Which is alright. So, here we are. We've got a bit of storage under there where your pickup and your XUV is. Then you've got your farmhouse in here. We'll open up those doors like that. There you are, come through here. There's your wardrobe icon. There's your sleep trigger. Jobs are good. You have a little bit of chill out. A little bit of a sit down on the settee. Why not? And we'll come out of here. And at the side of the house is a water trigger. Yeah, it's a little water tower. Oh, that's all right. That's all right indeed. Now, you've got these gates that go into the animal pen there, the horses. Now, the horses are already here on all three game modes, which is a little bit interesting. When you come up here and you've got a big shed building, whatever you want to call it. So, open up those gates like that. There you are. So, you've got your silo part there. So, you chuck all your stuff in. Bit of storage that side. Obviously, that door opens as well. Not a problem. And we come back round here. Around this side, it's going to be your main entrance to your horses. So it'll open up that gate. I mean, you can use all these animal pens on all three game modes. It's not a problem. And all the animals are here, which is great. I mean, you could just sell them off if you wanted to. Make a bit of cash. So two horses in there. Obviously, feed and water goes in there. No problem. There he is. Having a little bit of a munch on the grass. No way. No problem at all. So we'll come out of there. And we'll go over here. Got two bonker silos for you, which you can use on all three game modes. Then we come around here and we've got an animal pen. So first up, we're going to click on that. There you are. So we've got 20 cows already in there. And again, all three game modes, the 20 cows are there. So you've got your slurry taking out point just there. 
Obviously, you've got your taking out point for your silo just there. And around here, you've got your manure heap. And we'll spin it around like that. You've got your loading in point for your food and your straw. Just there. Just chilling. Just chilling in the Brazilian sunshine. Now, over here, you've got another building. So we'll have a little look inside here. Open up that door like that. There we are. So a bit more storage. There's all your equipment. Obviously, not here on all three game modes, mind you. But, <laughs> stuck on a pillar. I mean, you got this little ramp. I mean, it's just there as a decoration, mind you. But you could sort of facilitate bringing a tractor up there. You know, maybe giving it a little bit of a fix-up. Oh, that, well, that's where I was going with it. Anyway, then we'll come around here. We're down to this bit. So we'll come and open up these gates like that. There we are. This is a nice big area, actually. So around here, we've got another animal pen. So another cow pen. So slowly taken out point just there. We then got your animal dialogue box of 14, this one, at 500. That's not bad. 500 capacity on that. So, obviously, you open up your gate. You can take your milk out. That being said, where's the milk taking out point of that one? I mean, you've got a slowly taking out point there. That's, that's two taking out points. Where's your loading in point for your food? Oh, there we are. We'll carry on. Oh, it's another another cow pen it's another 40 going in there that means your food input's got to be in here somewhere we're in a <laughs> i've opened up all these gates i've gone and got myself lost right open up that one so we come right the way through where's the feed trigger i'm looking out and so the cows are in the field there this is really random there doesn't seem to be a Feed trigger, unless I'm completely missing, which is a good chance. Can we get over there? No. Oh, right, what about if we... Do you know what? Let's have a little look. Let's go in the construction menu. Have a little flyover. See if we can see a trigger anywhere. There's got to be one here somewhere. All right, so you've got your taking out points there. Loading in points. Is it going to be right in the field? Never. Now we're coming over to a different building down here. Now, they're different buildings altogether. That's not it. It's got a, there's no feed trigger for your cows, unless they're all linked. I mean, they could all be linked, you never know. There doesn't seem to be a feed trigger for the cows. It can't go all the way down there. I mean, obviously, the fence does, mind you. So, the cows are out in the field here. You've got your feed trigger over there, but not for this one. I mean, you've got... What's that? It's a farm entrance. No, that's, that's not a feed trigger. It's just where you're going in. That's just really random. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now I'm stuck. Right. Oh, now I'm really stuck. Right. You know when you turn one way and everything just seems to be the other way and you completely miss it? It's all the way around here. Now, which is strange. Because to be fair, right, you've got these two bits here. The... I would have said the feed trigger wouldn't need to be round there, but they're not the here. Oh, fair enough. So obviously your food and your straw goes into these bits. Straw in the middle ones, and then your feed goes into the troughs. I mean, there's a fair bit in there as well. What have we got? 20,000 litres of straw in each, 59,000 litres of food in. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I like that little setup. I mean, not the normal thing, which is why it sort of flummoxed me a little. But all right, fair enough, fair enough indeed. Now, up here is a fuel tape, fuel tailor, fuel tank. So that's got 10,000 litres in already, so that's all right. And around here is going to be your only field that you start on with new farmer. So out of all that land, you start with one field. And it's a small one. So this is sort of like a, a, a more or less a start from scratch sort of farm because you you haven't got a lot to start with, but... You go for the animals, you go for one small field, and then out the back here is probably where you're going to make your mark, really. So you're coming through these gates like that. There we are. On the side of the hills. Plow it out, whatever. Cut some trees down. Maybe not by the horses. Leave them alone. That sort of thing. That That's the idea behind it all. Right, so that's your start farm. So, we've done that bit there, there, done that area there, and I put my teeth in. So, we're going to come down to this area over here. So, first up, we've got another fuel silo. So, over here like that. There we are. So, that's empty. 
there we are so 10,000 litres will go in there so a bit of storage underneath mind you and then round here we've got another silo so you've got your load in and your load out taking point just there then up here we've got a few more buildings it's got a bit of storage under that one and can we open this one? Oh, we own this land as well oh because it's all part of that area right fair enough so you've got three got three fields there and one field there yeah interesting interesting now whilst we're on the subject of fields there is some new crops is this a new crop or is that just wheat no that no it's oats right okay in the shop menu we're going to that one there we go there scroll down a little we got these alfalfa uh, how do you pronounce that cow carrier queen of beans Car carrier Cario Queen of Yeah, we'll go with that. Cario Queen of Beans and Rice. Now, obviously, alfalfa planted, harvested like grass, not a problem. Now, the beans and the rice, they can be planted with a seeder. The beans themselves can be planted with a planter as well. And they all get harvested. Well, the beans and the rice get harvested with a standard header. And then, obviously, the alfalfa gets mowed. That's the new crops. Right, fair enough then. So we'll go back into the map then. We're going to come across to this area down here. So we've got a few buy points and sell points down here. Now the first one is your slurry buy point. It's a big, it's a big pit of stuff. So just come down, fill up down there if you wanted to. Now around here, we go over here like this. There we are. So we've got a sell point for you as well. It's just going to be for your, I'd imagine sugar cane, by the looks of the stuff on the floor. Limeira mill. Ah, it looks like sugar cane. Then we'll come down here. So this is a big sort of like sugar factory. Although it's not a factory that we can use, mind you. It's just a sale point for you. But I like it. Yeah, a bit of an industrial area. Yeah, fair enough. So over here is going to be a buy point for you. So this one is manure. So you buy manure down there. Then we'll come around this side. Hop over that little barrier like that. There we are, and we've got a, I'm assuming, wood sow point. Although, to be fair, this could be a production chamber, looks so of that. Click on that. Where are we at? Come on. Come on, when you're ready. There we are. Forestry sow point now. It is the sow point. So, obviously, you put your stuff in there, and then you sow your wood there. Jobs are good. And obviously, these barriers are going to open up when you come through. Yeah, a little industry area. That's all right. Right, we're going to come up to this part of the map up here. Now, this is a sort of quarry area-ish. Not the sort of normal quarry that we have, like for lime or whatever, but you've got your debris crusher down here. So you chuck all your stones in there, no problem. And then round here, we've got a buy point just there. I'm assuming this is going to be lime, so we'll click on it anyway. Come on. There we are. Lime station, buying it at the quarry. Obviously, there's a big area dug into the ground. I should go while I'm matching for a quarry. Oh, fair enough. Right, we'll carry on. We're going to come up to this area up here. So this is another sow point for you. So this is warehouse two. It's a big silo. I mean, it's not one that you use. It is a sow point. So you just chuck all your stuff in there like that. But again, it does take up a sizable sizable chunk of the map. All right. What about this building down here, actually? Can we get into there? Because that looks like a building we can use. Let's have a little look. No, just for decoration. Right, fair enough then. Okay, we're going to jump over to this area up here. What comes before Warehouse 2? Well, it's Warehouse 1. It's another sow point just in there for you. Big complex of bins. Sow all your stuff off. And then around here, we've got another buy point. There we are. That's going to be for your pig food. A little icon on the front. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Now, come over here. And we've got a little bit of a way bridge if you want to keep an eye on your way. If you're going down that road. You know, some people do like to keep an eye on the roadway. You know, just keep it all in check with the local authorities. Then we'll come over here like this. Because out of this area, barrier, we've got a little motocross track. Yeah, so we'll jump over there. Got a bit of <laughs> got a bit of drainage work on the go there. Then in here. Oh, watch. Oh, I'm going to get run over quick. Get off the road. We've got this. It's a little motorcycle course. Oh, that's all right. So you come in here, you got some stands where you can park your stuff on like that. A little bit of an off-road track. Oh, that's all right. That's all right, indeed. And then we'll come back out of there. Now, I need to watch myself on this road because they're going to they're gonna take me out, aren't they? So there's nobody coming that way. Right, quick, hop over the road. 
There we are. So you've got a little bit of a play area. And then in here, like that, in this one, I'll put the barrier there. there. It's going to be your sow point for you. So this one, what's it called? There you are, bale sow station. Well, it's got some pallets of stuff there as well. Lettuce and tomatoes. Maybe you can sell those there as well. Then we'll hop back over there. We'll come down the road through the industrial area. So on to the next one. So we're going to be on the left-hand side up here. So a little John Deere sign. There we are. I think we can see what's going on here. It's a John Deere dealer. So we're coming to here like that. There you are. So there's your shop menu. Obviously, with the, all the equipment that you start with on New Farmer, it's a sort of John Deere area. So we'll come around here like that. There's your workshop trigger just in there. Obviously, your spawn area is in there as well. But these big barriers are open. So, you know, some some shops don't have much of an area for you to get out, especially with big equipment. I think the, um, what's it, Carmston Farm, that was quite of a narrow area to get out with equipment. So, like, big pieces on the back here you're going to struggle with. But that's all right. Then we'll come over here. We've got a fuel station. So, how much are they charging? £1.50? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Then over here, coming here like that, there we are. So we've got a dealer open vehicle options. That's going to be a workshop trigger. So you could, if you want to go down the immersive route, get on here with, with your mates or whatever, you could have this as like your dealer. You could work behind here, take their tractors or their equipment in for a bit of repairing. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. So we'll come back down this road. We're going to hook a left down here. There we are. And then to the building in front of us just there. Around this corner. Past all these people. Oh, watch out for that van. We've got this bit here. So this is another sound point for you. So we've got textile. So if it says that on the shop, bring your stuff down here. No problem. And then we'll carry on up this road. Like that. Around here like that. And then into where all the tents are. It's a little market. Oh, that looks all right. Some cakes. I order like a bit of cake. Right, so this one, I'm imagining it's going to be market. Oh, fair. Close enough. Close enough. Now, if you wanted to go down the old immersive route and role playing and whatever, you can buy the periphery. It's expensive. It's 6.8 million. But you can do it. So if you want to start off, you know, just bang that in just so you can buy the property and then move on from there. That's entirely up to you. But it can be done. Right, fair enough. We're going to come across to this area up here. As you can tell from the icon, this is going to be your animal dealer. So if you want to bring a trailer up here, obviously, buy that icon. Hit your vehicle in there. Obviously, pick up your animals. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Right, we're going to move over to this area over here. Obviously, with the required mods that's needed, the old circular pivot, and it's being the only circular field on the map. And you own it on all three game modes. Yeah, it's the pivot. Oh, fair enough. Now, it's currently owned. What's that name there? It's gone. There we are. Renatina Turbinada. It currently owns this field. How much is the field, actually? How much is it? 775 grand. Which I think is a little strange. Seems we already own this. I mean, obviously, it's part of the map and whatever. That we wouldn't own this field already. I mean, you can get in it. Yeah, and you can turn it on, right? So we'll turn on the sprayer. You don't have access to this land. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand why we own this here. Yeah, put it in. Obviously, you require mod or whatever. Why we don't own the field? So it's just a little bit strange. But okay, fair enough, fair enough indeed. And that's your map. I like it. I mean, that circle field, that's X, right? And then you've got the big open areas that sort of make me need... To do a little bit of forestry on the go. Maybe not too much. Then you can just plough out the fields and do whatever you want on them. And obviously starting with the animals already in the pens. On all three game modes as well. That's ace. Oh, I like the map. So that's your map tour done for you. Why not go treat yourself to some Andy's Farm merch. Link in the description below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button. Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.